Hey guys, so I did this video before and for some reason I can't find the footage, so we are refilming it. But I thought I would um, share with you guys how we wash all of our pumpkins. It's not a complicated process, it just is tedious. Especially when they look clean, you kind of feel like skipping it over, but I want the best quality for our customers. And so um, I will show you how we do that. Okay, so this is just um, an old recycling tub or a new recycling tub. I don't know, just a recycling tub that we bought from the hardware store. And here I have five gallons of water. And this is why I don't do this down at the um, high tunnel or by the pumpkin patch is because the water coming out of there is really cold and um, this stuff I can make it so that it's room temperature and then with all the rain that we've been having um, it's just been chilly and so that makes it so that it's not nearly um, as cold and wet as it has been. We have been doing it on our front porch but since the sun is out that'll help things dry quicker without me having to wipe them all off. So then I take and I add about a tablespoon of bleach per gallon of water. So this was five gallons, so I'm gonna add five tablespoons of bleach. And then I use a bucket to sit on. Thank you. Want it unhook? Um, yeah, probably. So all I do is I take the pumpkin, it doesn't matter how clean it is or how dirty it is, and I let it sit in here for a little tiny bit. And I take a rag and I just kind of rub the whole thing. And then I take them out. And then if I'm doing it by myself, um, I will take and dry right up by the stem because that's where it all kind of um, the excess water kind of pools from the stem so I'll just take and I'll dry that off and then um, when I get a bunch of these washed I will dry them all the rest of them all at the same time um, if it's me and one other person then somebody washes somebody dries if it's a few of us then the other person um, or three of us the other person will take and they will put the pumpkins over on whatever it is. If we're doing the trailer or a wagon or whatever, they'll, after they'll dry, they'll set them on there. And we forgot about weighing them. So, um, now the thing about weighing them is that um, they have to be dry where you write the weight. And on the bottom is harder to dry because obviously it's not like up in the sun and it's usually sitting on something. So, um, weighing them is kind of always the last thing that I do because um, the bottom always seems to have some sort of moisture on them. But this is my this is my stool that I use for weighing them, so I have a nice um, sturdy flat surface most of the time. There we go. And um, we just run an extension cord up to the house, and then this way this can go up to 50 pounds. So um, that's why I got this one is so that 
we can use it for um, so we can use it for uh, weighing pumpkins so I'm just gonna take this little guy set it there five pounds 11.6 ounces and see if I can do this one-handed here I'll set it on the scale and then I just take and right on the bottom five pounds 11.6 ounces and I usually rate it a lot neater when I'm not filming but and so then we take that and then I put over here on whatever we're putting them on I'll put all of the um, all of the ones that are the same weight together so like that'll be the um, five pounds and we'll just separate them by weight and then that way when we're putting this price stickers on super easy when I'm doing this just on my own it seems to take forever there's so many steps um, and then as everybody comes out to help it really does help speed up the process now this feels like it is the most tedious job in the world, and really, it kind of is. Um, but it's worth it to have good quality products and have everything priced and everything consistent and the same, at least in my eyes. So now that we have all of the pumpkins washed and dried and priced, we can bring them down and put them out at our stand.